They are finally back home, touching down on a free and democratic South Africa, a goal they strived for. It was a solemn event, but their lives and legacies were celebrated. <laughs> Among those attending, cabinet ministers, tripartite alliance leaders, and ordinary members of the public. The president took the lead in reminding everyone about why this day is so significant. He broke into song, singing about the day they finally returned. In his address, he expressed the hope that this would be the start of more homecomings. I hope these leaders have now opened the way for us to think differently and to be innovative to ensure that even if that process takes longer, but we'll begin a process to bring back our heroes and heroines. The president thanked Russia for supporting the struggle and the friendship it continues to show. The remarkable and stately send-off yesterday when they left Russia will also forever be remembered by the South African people as a gesture of true friendship. The Russians will keep the bars of the repatriated heroes on the exhumed graves as a sign of remembrance. The Kotane family welcomed their father's remains with mixed emotions. Today has brought on a lot of memories. It's brought on a lot of motivation for us as the next generation. Being in the midst of these legends, these icons as they have been made out, is overwhelming overall. How do we fill such footsteps? JP Marx family says the last few months have been emotionally taxing. Marx was buried in Russia in August 1972 after suffering a stroke. The family are very happy, but at the same time they're very emotional. You know, after all these years, Uncle JB returned to his home soil. Now they have closure to, you know, to go have a place to go mourn. As the mortal remains of the two giants of the struggle return home, they will be given proper recognition by the people they so diligently served. President Zuma has announced special official funerals for them. Mzon Lembech, SAPC News, Air Force Base, Waterkloof, Pretoria.